will be in your ear with an earpiece. I will help you along. Your interview tonight is going to be Janice Dickinson. Oh, my God. That's going to be a hard challenge. <laughs> I've seen her just kind of being like, not a bitch, but kind of like, yeah, like kind of a bitch. Hi, Carrie D. It's Mark. Know your questions. You're working for E.T. tonight, sweetheart. Make us proud. Hi, Janice. Um, I just wanted to know what makes Janice Dickinson Janice Dickinson. What makes you so, you know, over... I can't think of the word right now, but just... I'm trying, I'm trying to help you with sign language. What makes you you? What makes you Janice? Over... I pungent? Over I pungent? Over pungent. It's a smell. It's a strong smell. Janice, you look sexy tonight. I'm Brooke. Warm her up first, okay? Make her like you. So tell me, what makes you so bitchy? Not good. Thank you. Oh, man, I feel sorry for the next one's coming. Where are you from? I'm from India, but originally... But I'm from Miami, Miami Florida. So what makes you so energetic? I like the fact... That... Who is... I don't know, the pigeon. I don't know. I hear a lot that um, models have a lot of attitude. So do you think there's any appropriate time for a model to have an attitude? I don't even know how to answer your question because you're moving so much. I, I try to get the sound bites, but I think most of the sound bites are her making fun of me. Hope you really enjoyed the Mark Thomas collection. Or oh, the Jeff Thomas. Jeff Thomas, sorry. And then I messed up the designer's name, which is pretty much, you know, kill myself. Oh. Hi, I'm Amanda. Janice Dickinson. Now, Janice, what I know both best about you is that you're America's number first supermodel. Can you define what a supermodel is? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? All right. If Amanda were a model correspondent and came onto our show, I would have to light a fire under her. What's that thing on your head? It's, I don't even know. That thing looks like it's got moth holes in it. Okay, get the attention off you. Back onto her. Get to the questions. Take it off. Can you do me that favor? Yes, I can. Oh, no, no, no. You've lost the interview. Get the microphone back. Can I have my microphone back? Yes. Thank you. So, um, I'm forgetting my question right now. Never forget. Invent. Make I'm them up. I'm trying. I'm screwed at this point, so I'm not even going to pretend, like, to try and fix it. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Toodles. Bye. She's breaking out in the hive. Ooh. She's all red. So, what made you the original supermodel? Well, I coined the term back in 1979. And you're the original ideal beauty for this. But I coined the term. You coined the term, girl. And like, one more question for you. Hickey or this is you. That's a, that's a birthmark. Oh, it's a good one. She's turning it on you. Get it back to her. Do you have any birthmarks? Uh, I don't. Very good, very good. Yes. So, um... You really don't... You really <laughs> don't have the handoff yet. It's Jed is talking, now you talk. Get it! <laughs> Give me the mic! <laughs> So, um... Damn. South, South, South. Ask me something. Okay, so, um... There's a blank in my head. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Hey, give me the mic. Bye. Woohoo! Hey, I got the mic. <laughs> Question. Why is that pink thing still on your head? Do you think that's fashion and attractive? Because it's not. I wouldn't wipe your car with it. I love my hat. I don't care what she thinks. The winner of this challenge is going to join me and the staff at Entertainment Tonight and file a story for us. The person that I would like to invite to be a correspondent is Melrose. Yay! I agree! I agree! You know what, girls? I'm sorry. She blew you all away. Definitely excited I didn't win those. A lot of the girls are like, I would not want to win that. I'm like, you guys are tripping. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. <laughs>